Hi, welcome to Kirti's Nail Box and today I am going to show you how to fix 3D charms, Swarovski's and uh, some other stuff on the nail with the help of acrylic, gel or acrylic and gel combination. So let's get started. I have made some tips ready for you so that I can uh, show you how to do it. These uh, tips I have made with the gel polish. Uh, these gel polishes I have kept these tips ready for you and now I will show you this kind of Swarovski's a 3D uh, charms Swarovski's different shapes and different sizes and different types of Swarovski's diamantes on the nails I will show you uh, I think I'll start with the acrylic application first applying big 3D charms or big studs or big bows or anything which is 3D uh, it is always better instead of gel you apply like it, it's all right. these studs with the help of acrylic because then they fix it for a longer time It would be always better that before application of any 3D charms or any time uh, Swarovski's, you should always buff the nail so that it gives you better result. Now once this 3D is stuck on your nail, what you can do is you can take more liquid in your brush and then put it in clear acrylic. and fix the entire outer portion of the nail, portion of the 3D so that there is no part of this 3D which comes out and which gets stuck to your hair or, or while doing any um, being lady you will need to do or your client will need to do some home front things and then if you feel like, you know, uh, when you apply this kind of uh, acrylic everywhere, there is no danger of uh, getting stuck in the cloth or uh, getting stuck in the hair or while combing you have problems. This is ready. Once this dries, I will put top coat and show you how this looks. Let this dry. Let me now show you with the application of gel. I always prefer a uh, smallest Swarovski's uh, on the nails with the help of gel. Wherever you want to put the Swarovski's with the help of gel, with the help of thin brush, you can make a line in case if you want to put this in the line of all.
with the help of stone picker now what i will do is it is always better you keep like this dish or something of uh, this kind of a uh, dish where it would be easier for you to pick up whatever color you need right now i am going to put this kind of clear um, silver stones remember wherever you are putting with the help of gel it has to be base gel you never use top gel for uh, you should try avoiding you should try avoid using a uh, top gel while uh, fixing swarovskis on the nail now i will put it in the uv machine uh, this machine is by magnetic and uh, this is twin light by the time this gets cured i will show you some other kind of stones this kind of stones let me show you when you see this kind of stone it has kind of a point and you won't be able to uh, stick it in the acrylic because acrylic gets uh, dried away faster maybe within 30 second or so it depends upon the acrylic quality but sometimes uh, it becomes it fa it's faster so you have to be fast and uh, you know you are you tend to make mistakes so in that case i have another tip where i normally where i normally mix my gel take little bit of gel take clear acrylic powder mix it with the help of gel brush see the consistency then where i want to now wherever i want to put this wherever i have decided to put this stone i will put this acry gel glue then with the help of the stone picker i would fix it wherever i want you can also use orange stick wood or a toothpick but this is very handy and then you cure it in your twin light or in your uv lamp till this gets cured i will show you how to apply this kind of bows and this hangings
this bow I will apply with the help of acrylate I will take more liquid in the brush then with the help of plucker or tweezer I will apply my diamond bow till your acrylic is in the liquid form till it is not cured or it is not uh, it is not set you can still change the position and now you should try you know your hair while combing your hair or maybe you are doing something you are uh, wearing your clothes this can uh, get stuck so to avoid that I always put acrylic besides the uh, the corners so that it, it never uh, gets stuck if you see uh, my nails I always love putting this kind of charms uh, putting this kind of 3D's and uh, these normally stay uh, till I remove it even with my clients ok now here this is in the liquid form I take more more liquid in the brush I take a smaller smaller ball smaller bead and then I take more liquid so that this spreads you know it has time to uh, get hard and by the time wherever I need I will just put it then I clean my brush and wherever extra acrylic I have put I will try before it gets hard I will just clean my nail tip let this dry this is my last step and uh, in today's video and I will show you how to put this this kind of 3d hanging again with the help of gel brush my acrylic gel glue wherever I need to put since this is hanging I, I want to put this at the corner since this is artificial tip you will have to hold it while putting it in the lamp because if it is natural nail it will on its own it will have this kind of a hold so now let me put it in the lamp till this gets cured I will uh, put supreme finish on the ready uh, that is a top coat on my ready nails and so here we will have the result
I've seen people putting uh, this kind of uh, 3Ds or this diamantes or uh, diamonds with the help of uh, top gel. Uh, but I uh, really I, I don't believe that it stays for a longer time when you're applying top gel you have to take care that you are not covering your uh, diamond uh, diamonds or 3d's with top gel because then it will lose its uh, shine and you will not have the same shine what it had earlier so you're not going to cover that because it's already fixed you're going to just you know the entire background area you're going to put it with the top coat all my all my tips which I showed you just now it's now ready with the top coat and I will just put it in the lamp and then uh, within uh, two minutes I will put it right now just for 60 seconds to save my time to save your time in fact and then just uh, uh, let me just um, uh, uh, cure it first see this way I normally apply all these kind of uh, stones uh, 3D's These are kind of uh, roses, they really are uh, flat, you get this online. Then these kind of bows, different 3D items, all these kinds you can um, stick with the help of you have to decide what you are going to use either uh, acrylic or gel or acrylic gel and you have to decide what you want to do now here I have I have this part uh, this queen I have done it with the acrylic acrylic with the acrylic and uh, wet acrylic that is acrylic and monoma this part I have done it with the gel because I, I could just uh, take one line, one circle I drew, uh, I drew and then I just put the, um, you know, and this bow again, I put, uh, put it with the help of acrylic and monomer, uh, that is the li acrylic liquid. So this is how I have completed today's uh, demonstration and these are my uh, ready tips for you. I hope you like this video and Please share your views, uh, please like it. Thank you. Bye-bye.